I'm drunk. You are. I drink a lot. <laughs> but what I do now, there's this guy, a long time ago, his name was Ivan Pavlov, and he had an idea, an inspiration, a muse moved inside of him that nobody had seen before. And this idea had something to do with behavior and the way he felt that his dogs behaved. <laughs> I'm very drunk. Is he behind? But he thought, Are what if, starch? what if I could have my dogs behave <laughs> in an unusual fashion of my choosing? And he said, Maybe if I had a stimulus that caused a natural response associated with the response that I desire, and he said, I got it! I'll ring a fucking bell, right? And these dogs are so used to hearing this fucking bell ringing when their fucking dinners already. And they're like, ah, oh, there's food. My fucking mouth is watering because I'm ready to digest this goddamn food in my face. So he thought, if I could ring this bell, and they're so used to this bell signifying their dinner, and they salivate to their fucking dinner, right? That's a lot of saliva that I can harvest. <laughs> because when I ring this bell, even if there is no dinner, the sound of this bell is going to get their brains thinking there's food. But there won't be food, but their mouths, their tongues will produce saliva. Their glandular shit in their mouth will produce the saliva. So that they'll think that there's food, but they'll produce the saliva even though there's no food. And that'll be interesting. <laughs> so he fucking did it. He did this bell, and the dog's like, whoop, whoop, whoop. Drooling, and he collected this drool because he had this other idea. He was a capitalistic motherfucker. He thought, if I collect this drool, and I tell the villagers below me that this drool, whenever their fucking indigestion is acting up, it'll cure it. All they have to do is drink a certain amount of this dog spit saliva that I collected through this bell ringing that they thought there was food, but there was no food, but they associated the sound of that bell, dinner, and they salivated into these cups that I was collecting. And if they drank this <laughs> amount of saliva, it would act as an anti-acid like tones to cure their indigestion, their diarrhea, whatever was bothering them. He sold it to these people, and these people, like fucking idiots that they were, were drinking this shit, ah, <laughs> like it was fucking curing cancer, because they thought it would cure their indigestion. <laughs> so they were like, yeah, and drink dog spit. I mean, he might as well have collected whatever from them, you know, harvested their goddamn organs, you know, but he didn't because he was classy enough not to do that. And so these people were drinking this dog spit, you know, all their lives thinking, oh, this is going to cure my stomach ache. And surely it did not. And it was a placebo effect. And that's all that I know about Pavlov. Do you have any closing remarks? My head is working in reverse, and <laughs> converging in the center of my forehead. <laughs> Okay. Those are Pavlov's last words. Wait.